Good afternoon, lovely people of the internet. Welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome to a long awaited recipe video. It's been a few months at this point, <laughs> but now that we are finally somewhere for the first time since moving to Italy, where I can get a little bit more creative in the kitchen, a bit more freedom, a bit more time and space to come up with some concoctions for you guys. Today, I want to share a little cracker with you. I'm going to show you how to make this sweet orange and olive oil loaf cake. Yes, the olive oil is intentional. <laughs> We're talking moist, fluffy, heavy on that natural orange flavor without too much sugar. A gorgeous sweetened orange drizzle and a little bit more orange zest over the top. And guess what? It's complete. Let me show you guys how to make this sunshiny recipe in the depths of citrus season. The recipe starts off with the wet ingredients. I started with vanilla soy milk, but you can use regular soy milk, oat milk, or even cow's milk if you don't want this to be dairy free. Just add a bit of vanilla extract for some flavoring. I follow this with extra virgin olive oil for the best color, flavor, and texture, but you can use regular olive oil too. Then we're going to grab two big, fat, juicy oranges and you're just going to take a fine grater. Mine wasn't super fine, but just as fine as you can find <laughs> and grate that lovely zest in there. Next, I want you to slice open just one of your oranges and squeeze all of the juice that your hands can manage from those big, lovely round things. <laughs> just squeeze it straight into the jug, trying to make a bit less mess than I did afterwards. <laughs> This just adds extra flavor and acidity to help the cake rise. Next, you're just going to want to kind of muddle it together as if you're making one big, ugly cocktail. <laughs> and once stirred together, you can just set this aside while we get into the dry ingredients. Grab yourself a bowl, ideally bigger than this because mine was a bit too small. <laughs> and first we're going to add in plain flour. You can also use kind of Italian style double zero flour if you have it, but plain works just fine. Follow this with regular white sugar, a little bit of salt, just a pinch more than you think you need. It perfectly balances out in baking and is always, always essential. And after that, just a little bit of raising agent. I use just a couple of teaspoons of baking powder, but full instructions and measurements will be in the description box below. As you can see, we just kind of mix together the dry ingredients and then we pour all of those lovely wet ingredients in and just whisk it together until it is just, just, just combined. Don't worry if there are kind of little lumpy looking bits. The key here is mixing as little as possible just so that everything is worked together but without being super, super smooth or knocking all the air out as you can end up with a chewy cake and no one wants that. Next up, grab your loaf tin. I want you to grease it with just a little bit of olive oil and line it with some greaseproof paper if you can, just to help it from sticking. And just chuck all of your lovely orange olive oil cake mix in there. Now, I used quite a big loaf tin, but I have adjusted the measurements and everything below for smaller loaf tins, if that's the case. Just smooth it out, take it and bake it. No effort involved here. The oven is about to do all the rest of the work for just under to around an hour. Kiss it goodbye and wait patiently for your house to fill up with that gorgeous, gorgeous smell of seasonal oranges. You're going to want to leave your cake to kind of rest and cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes while you make the glaze to go over the top. Now you can make as much of this or as little of this as you like and it can be any kind of consistency. All you're going to need is some icing sugar, some orange juice and just a pinch of salt and you can adjust the kind of dry and the wet as much as you like to get that desired glaze texture, whether you like it to be runny or super, super thick. I like it to be somewhat runny in this recipe, and I like to use half of the glaze while the cake is warm, just to create a lovely sugar crust, and then I like to add the second half later, just to lock in all of that beautiful, beautiful moisture. You don't need any fancy kind of piping equipment or pastry brushes here, just a good old teaspoon to kind of ladle that glaze over the top. Nothing excessive, we don't want it to be iced, just a nice almost crust of sugar that will just dry in and help lock in the moisture of the cake as it cools down completely. And once cooled, get the last of that glaze over for an extra shimmer when it sits in the sun. Slice it up, once it's cooled down, don't be too tempted you might burn your mouth. 
I promise it's not fun. <laughs> and then enjoy this gorgeous, soft, fluffy, and completely vegan orange olive oil cake. I hope you love it as much as we have. See you for the next one.